Hi everyone. In a previous video, we talked about these two modules. This is the power bank module that you saw when I built the project power bank. And this is the new TP4056 with the step up circuit that I've shown you in my previous video. So today I want to expand on the topic and cover a few more uh, modules and ICs that you can use to power up your projects. So to begin with, on the left, we have uh, step up converters. In the center, we have step down converters and on the right is the linear voltage regulators. All of them can be used depending on uh, the circumstances of your project. Specifically, if you have a lower voltage power supply and you need a higher up, then you need to step up circuit. If you have higher power uh, supply and you need to step uh, to lower that down, then you need a step down converter. and for some small differences, you can use linear voltage regulators, even though they are not the, the most efficient way of powering things. But we'll go over each and every one of them and see how they work with an example circuit. This video is sponsored by the leading PCB manufacturing service, PCBWay. PCBWay can bring your project from design to reality with a simple and intuitive online ordering process where you can now order fully assembled PCBs with components at a cost of just $30 for 20 pieces. To get started, upload your Gerber and BOM files and PCBWay will provide you with a quote on your order and they will be available for help during the entire manufacturing process. Visit the link in the description to find out more and discover why more than 250,000 customers are always choosing PCBWay. Okay, so first up we have the step up modules. These are basically exactly the same modules with the difference that this one is adjustable through these solder pads here on the front, while this one has a potentiometer that you can then turn and adjust the voltage output. Uh, they both run on the B628 chip, which was the same as on this one. So we can go up to 30 volts and the lowest input we can have is about two volts. I have one set up here, so let's connect it to a power source and I can show you the output. Okay, so here's the setup for this module. I'm powering it from a lithium ion battery. So that's about 3.67 volts. That is then stepped up to 12 volts. I have the module here connected to the multimeter, uh, which is in voltage mode and it measures the, volt the voltage at the output. So no matter what voltage the battery will go down to, we will always have 12 volts on the output. And that is because I've soldered both of the pads here on the back. The module is adjustable through these two solder pads that you see on the front. And supposedly there should be a table that indicates what combination of connecting those will give you what voltage, but someone messed up with the cell screen and they all show all the same here on screen. I'll put um, the actual table that's from the listing where you can see that uh, if you don't connect any of the pads, it will default to five volts. If B is connected, then the output will be eight volts. If A is just connected, the output will be nine volts. And then if both of them are connected, then the output will be 12 volts, which is exactly the case as we have in our example here. I have both of those joints there soldered, so we get 12 volts on the output. And again, with the other module, we are seeing a very similar situation. I have the input coming here from the power supply at 3.7 volts, and the output is giving us 5.1 volts. This one can be adjusted to basically any voltage uh, with the built-in potentiometer. So let's try and do that. As I turn the potentiometer, the output voltage changes and we can adjust this to what basically whatever we need. So let's, for example, bring this up to uh, nine volts. And something that you really need to remember is that this can go as low as the input voltage. So for example, if I try to lower it down now, you can see the adjustment is really granular. So there's a lot that you can go down. Uh, and so 
no matter if I turn it any lower, it goes to 3.6 volts, which is basically the voltage coming from the power supply. It's set at currently 3.7, but there's definitely some voltage drop in the input cables that I'm using. So the voltage can only go up. So now let's try to yeah adjust it and see how far up. Okay. So we should be a bit more gentle currently at 27 and that's about the limit that we can go, which is again, quite similar to the step up circuit that we saw here. And it will also be similar to this one, but in order for us to get above 12 volts on this one, we'll need to basically replace the combination of resistors here. And that's a bit more difficult. So if you need higher voltages, then you are recommended that you use this type of uh, step up circuit that uh, can go high and it's really adjustable. Um, before we've seen the step up modules and they are really handy when we need to go from lower to higher voltage. But if our power supply has higher voltage and we need lower voltage for the projects that we are working on, then we need modules like this. These are step down converters. So basically they are doing exactly the opposite of uh, the step up modules. They receive higher voltage on the input and they can output a stable lower voltage. So for example, if we have a 12 volt power supply, we can connect a step down module and then provide stable five volts for the uh, microcontroller or for the Arduino that we need, or even go lower to 3.3 volts. Basically, these two are relatively same. This one is adjustable on voltage and on uh, current. So this one can serve as a constant current uh, source as well to power some LEDs. But this one is a more generic one. Uh, and similar to the other module, it's also adjustable with uh, solder bridges on the back. So we can have 12 volts, 9 volts, 5 volts, 3.3, 2.5, and then 1.8, depending on the combination of resistors that are connected here. And the top one is the adjustable one. So using this potentiometer here, we can go to basically any voltage that we want. And to show you that I have an example where we now have the module connected to the power supply at 12 volts and we have the potentiometer adjusted. So we have five volts on the output here on the multimeter. If we take a screwdriver and try to adjust, we can see that we can go to different voltages, but depending on the input, we can basically never go above one and a half volts lower than the input power supply. So you can see we have 12 volts on the input and 11.2 on the output. We can try to go up, but that doesn't work. But if we try to go down, then we can go to really low voltages and where 0 0.5 is basically the lowest. And for example, if we need a 1.8 or maybe a two volt power supply, then we can adjust that potentiometer and have it set. Again, as with some, you see that pressing on the um, on the potentiometer with the screwdriver does change the voltage a bit. So you need to be a bit fiddly if you want to get the right voltage that you need. Um, so that's kind of unprecise. So you're better off using the solder pads on the back uh, if you want to have a precise output voltage. And the final type of component that I want to go over is the linear regulator. So this one is L7805, which gives us a constant five volt output. They are like really cheap, really reliant regulators, but unfortunately compared to the DC step down converters, they are a lot uh, more inefficient, but they have better and more stable voltage. So. They're really used in uh, audio type projects in general. On the current setup, I have the power supply set at 12 volts. So when I turn it on, we'll see that we're gonna get five volts on the output. And that is true no matter of uh, how the voltage changes. So for example, I can lower the voltage to 
let's say eight volts and the output will still be five volts. They're converting all that excess voltage to heat. So they have this mounting plate on the back where you can mount a heatsink in high current um, operation. This is highly recommended. Uh, otherwise you might blow the component up. And I also have another one, which is the LM317. And that is a variable regulator. So let's check that out. And here is the uh, LM317 circuit. It uses a combination of two resistors. So one is a fixed 220 ohms and the other one is a potentiometer with five uh, kilo ohms. And depending on the combination of both, we can vary the output voltage. Currently it's running on 12 volts on the IP mode and I can adjust the output voltage uh, with the turn of the potentiometer. Again, I can only go as far as up to, uh, to 10 volts. So there is a bit of voltage drop that you need to account for. And if, for example, we want to have five volts on the input, we can adjust the potentiometer and have a stable five volts or maybe adjust it to something else depending on our application need. So with all of that, I hope that you now have a better understanding on how you can power your electronic projects. You will be seeing me using these modules in upcoming projects. So be sure to subscribe to see that. And I also think that you're gonna like this video here where I built a power bank using this module and a custom PCB. So be sure to check that out.